because it is in a more potential and a productive manner and there are actually people who are working on this particular cause um, and we are going to explore um, how the waste management can intersect at the uh, I would say climate change and then the, obviously there are further demarcations in that uh, plastic management and food management food wastage is a big big problem in Pakistan because people um, are wasting their food a lot True. so without any further ado we would like to introduce our guest we are very glad that we have been joined by Miss Katharina Broth. She happens to be a climate activist. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our show. Miss Katharina, please Ms. come Katharina, here. Thank you, Miss Katharina. Please walk in. You know, it's wonderful to have you over here. She's walking in as well today. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Please have your seat. Please have your seat. Thank you so much. And uh, joining Miss Katharina, we are very glad that we've also been joined by Miss Sumaira Gul. She happens to be CEO Dr. Akhtar Hamid Khan Memorial Trust. Assalamu alaikum and thank you so much for joining us, Miss Sumaira. Please have a seat. Thank you so right. much for joining us. We'll certainly come back to you. And right, so, so Mr. Mayor, coming to you since uh, we're talking about the climate change at the intersection of waste management and we see that uh, Pakistan produces tons of waste and when you further demarcate the waste, there's plastic pollution, then there's food wastage and then there's so many other types of wastage, right? Uh, but I believe that you have devised a particular system to control this particular waste management. Why don't you shed the light on it? Uh, thank you, first of all, uh, Mr. Shadat, for inviting thank for this uh, important topic on your uh, show. Uh, actually, in Pakistan, we are producing, uh, each Pakistani produce 0.5 kg waste per day, okay. and every family produce 3.5 kg waste per day. Thousand tons of waste producing daily, and that the waste is not waste. Mm -hmm. In our slogan, thrash is cash. Mm -hmm. What we are doing, we are collecting from neighborhood level, mm -hmm. and we have developed a decentralized waste system mm -hmm. from neighborhood waste collection system. Mm -hmm. We collect from household level, and we reduce 85% uh, resources mm -hmm. from the waste through segregation. Which particular areas are you mentioning uh, when you talk about the door uh, waste management system? Basically, we are uh, in private housing societies and uh, right. some other where, where the government is not providing services. Mm -hmm. We are providing first in their area there is mm -hmm. missing by the government like uh, slums and uh, undeveloped areas of the uh, city, especially the private housing society is not a recognized system by the government mm -hmm. in, in some way. Mm -hmm. So we, we promote the idea, 85% mm -hmm. waste is a resource. Yep. Like 60% is organic, we can collect, segregate and make the animal feed. We mm -hmm. can make the uh, organic compost and fertilize over the fields of Pakistan. What we are doing, we are promoting the chemical fertilizer, but we have rich source, 60% organic in our domestic waste and we can produce uh, compost from that waste and 25% is recyclable which can feed your informal sectors, your industries and you can recover 85% source from waste, only 15% waste is reject waste, that should be, must to be disposed of but we are mismanaging of waste, open burning and the dumping uh, exactly and it, which yes. contributes to you know what's going on in Lahore you know so yes, eventually it is the major burned. exactly in Punjab yeah. we have seen that you know how smoke is actually yeah. uh, a horrible uh, truth you know which which is in front that of us that is due to the uh, uh, burning, burning of agriculture yes, burn. waste in our exactly farmers. now yes. what I would want to ask you is that you know that we are a population of more than 200 million people living in a country mm -hmm. where we are talking about waste management but we are talking <coughs> specifically only about cities like Islamabad, Lahore, Karachi or Peshawar or Multan right. for, for that matter. But don't you think that you know that we certainly need to kind of make sure that we put in more effort rather than you know depending on oil and gas that we can yes. certainly have renewable energy resources to fulfill whatever we consume as energy. Yes, like uh, Kathy mentioned that we have a rich source in methane the presence of our, uh, organic waste, so we can recover methane and we can produce. Uh, already, we have introduced integrated source cover center where somehow we are producing organic waste, but some part of the waste we are producing uh, gas, yep. biogas. So we are utilizing as a uh, alternate source of energy. But the the basic introduce introduction is this: we need to be the promote as a social enterprise is a entrepreneurship in waste management. We are relying on only government, okay. on municipalities, on waste companies. It's new to be uh, decentralized mm -hmm. waste management need to be as an entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. which is our supporting our uh, economy. Mm -hmm. We are supporting our agriculture system. We can also support our 
uh, communities as uh, clean environment. Uh, so, Mr. Mayor, coming to you, uh, we've seen that Pakistan has a major problem of the food wastage, and we've seen that how many food we are wasting. Uh, if you go to any weddings, you will see how much we are wasting the food. Um, and obviously, this is also contributing towards the waste management, right? Um, and it is one of the contributor of the greenhouse gas emission because obviously the wastage is there. So how do you think we can tackle that? Obviously, we need to have more behavioral change campaigns where we can uh, make aware our population that you need to be more kind and considerate towards your food because at the one point, uh, people are wasting so much food and then there's poverty levels. They are so much higher at the another point because there's so many marginalized communities living there. So what is your concept about the food waste management? Uh, not only the behavior change, we need only awareness. We need uh, one step forward. We need to a social enterprise on also food level, food waste level. Because we, we have developed an idea in our integrated source coffee center. We develop a black soldier fly, B BFS. BSF is a new idea in okay. our country, but in other countries, light development is repeating in from many Can years. Can you check that light on yes. what is BSF? Yeah, BSF is a black soldier fly, small kind of uh, flies. Mm -hmm. We can produce a larva from that uh, fly. And fly. It, it is a very in, uh, rich protein, source of protein. And that larva can be used for the poultry feed. So mm -hmm. it is a small industry. We can, uh, we have experiment in our integrated service service center at Islamabad. Right. And what we can do with our, uh, you see, food, uh, coming from uh, kitchen, mm -hmm. like from vegetable markets or kitchen, mm -hmm. that is waste food. We can use for feeding our these flies, larvas. They can eat and they can also produce the poultry feed. Mm -hmm. So the, this is need to be in decentralized level. In what first your question, what we need to be decentralized approaches mm -hmm. for our national level, but decentralized on union council level, on sub sector Islamabad level. We need to be waste collection system, mm -hmm. segregation of waste, mm -hmm. and then waste products would be to produce by the decentralized level. So, so, so when we are saying that we need to decentralize it according to you, what right. you like 3,500 household is small union council yep. okay. made a waste collection system, hmm. waste aggregation system and waste uh, product development system, waste hmm. organic compost, BSF and other uh, product can be made from waste. Exactly. And how is your trust doing it accordingly? You know, so, you know, let, let's talk about that as well. Yes. Because your we trust are doing last 15 years wow. from till 2008. We have initiated an idea, mm -hmm. e-guard basement collection system. Then in 2015, we got a South Asian model, integrated source service center. That slogan is trash is cash. Yeah. So we are earning money like we have not only trust. Is it like a lot yes. of cash or is it? Yes, like we are earning cash. Okay. We have our independent e-guard company. Wonderful. We pay 6 million tax to the government of Pakistan. Wow. Wow. From the thrash, we are providing waste collection system to private housing facilities. We are providing waste collection system uh, capacity building to so the okay, basement you, companies. Oh, okay. Very sorry, but yes. once you collect it for better understanding of our people, so once you collect it, you sort it out, do you have some you know, waste recycling units, that's yes. where you're going to put it in? We, we have three types of services, like from doorsteps, we're collecting waste from doorsteps. One income comes from the waste collection service charges, mm -hmm. like each low income communities give us 300 rupees per month. Right. And high income, it's come to 500. Right. Then we segregate waste, we recover 60% organic waste, which goes to the field as a mm -hmm. organic compost or BSF feeding. Mm -hmm. yep. And 25% recovering feeding to the informal sector mm -hmm. industries. Uh, Shahzad, the last uh, 10 years ago, 22 industries of Pakistan in pharmacy, depending on waste items, recycle wow. items, wow. like pet bottles, plastic, bones, yes. uh, uh, papers, steel, even your uh, human hair is a big industry. It's yeah. more expensive item in the yeah. waste. Yes, a lot of people yes. are wearing somebody else's hair as well. You know, yes, so, it so is obviously. coming from waste. Yeah. So yeah. it is more expensive, it's rates in dollars. Wow. So we can earn money so but we, we are like putting our money house. into heaps mm -hmm. in we are burning our money we are putting our money to in the open fields we are just trunching our money on uh, un underground of the muds and they are polluting our ground mm -hmm. water True. so we need to be modernized system the typical system basement system is not suitable for our economy for our like climate uh, exactly. we are facing so climate maybe marine yes. life as well i think that yes. you know, we are the plastic but we are going the rivers in this river yep. the sea give us the beautiful uh, 
uh, you see trout fish and yes. beautiful fishes for eating we are putting our pet bottles pampers yes. and our oh dirty shoppers to the rivers at sea and All just at cop 28 while the um, interim uh, prime minister mr anwarullah kakar was speaking you know he actually kind of mentioned that if you are not going to look after the indus which has been looking after us you know it will be difficult for a lot of pakistanis to survive alongside the river bed as well i think this is something that he has mentioned we have done programs on it you know that how you know unfortunately we are seeing a deliberating effects you know towards uh, making sure that you know it's just you know kind of keeps on filling up with all of that waste that people have been throwing into it and we certainly need to be mindful it comes in a wrapper everything comes you know for That's example true. even if you're buying soda it's a That's it's true. a plastic bottle even if you're buying yes. chocolate there's a wrapper to it that's a plastic wrapper everything's in plastic so you know we certainly need to find better ways of probably selling things now, too money brewery yes. is now yes. using Definitely. glass bottle to selling their water you yeah. need to companies need to be uh, again the old well system is glass bottle Right. Exactly. Drinking and just very right. recently, Haja, I was in Dubai, so you know, yes. imagine that you know, in 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 every hotel, this the, this is one thing which I saw over there that they were using glass bottles, and you know, they would write it on the bottle that we are trying to make sure that to mitigate the effects of climate change, rather than using plastic, we are refilling bottles. Yes, and yeah. I, I think when I went to Belgium, so there were different sort of uh, dustbins. Uh, uh, I mean, and they they had a particular demarcation of it. So one dustbin dustbin was specifically mentioned for the plastic wastage. Mm. Another was for the cardboards and and the paper stuff. Uh, so I think that sort of system also reiterates the fact that um, the cardboard and the paper can be recycled, mm. right? Uh, and that will help in a more appropriate waste management. And obviously, as a third world countries, we need to work on that because waste management or the waste is a pertinent issue, especially when we talk about the urbanized cities. Mm. Number one, it does not look aesthetically pleasing and number two it is creating a lot of environmental hazards for that um, like a worthy guest mentioned here they're producing a lot of methane which is way way more dangerous and jeopardizing yeah. our health of this planet right and as uh, cop 28 mentioned that we have only this one planet to survive there is no other planet so if yeah. we are not looking after the health of this planet ultimately we are destroying our own planet because the entire system work in particular synergy right exactly and in, you know just to kind of complete it and to wrap it up as well you know this is something which i witnessed in europe as well uh, because I went to one of my friends in Germany and uh, you know while I was there right. you know one day he was like okay why don't you just take out 10 minutes and come alongside me and I was like sure why not and then all of a sudden he was like just go down to the store and get as many plastic bottles as you can and that's exactly <laughs> what I did so he took me to a machine where as many bottles that you're going to put in in return you will be earning euros as well so this is more of awareness this right. is more of what people can actually do to help other communities as well and certainly inshallah in days to come we will see such mechanisms popping up over here in pakistan True. as well because we do need that as well but thank you so much thank you so for much. being with us lovely to be in conversation with you to talk about the you know future environment for our future generations and we certainly True need to be the ones who actually bear that flag to make sure that we bring about that change which unfortunately if we do not talk about can hurt the environment for our future generations we're heading out towards a short break don't go anywhere we will be right back yeah good morning good morning